Question 1. Draw number lines and locate the points on them. We have to draw lines and locate the given points. We have three questions. We have different points. A has been divided into four equal parts because the denominator has four parts. Second, eight. Similarly, third is a bit typical. So, one over two would be at the middle. At the center because left hand side and right hand side have equal number of points. Secondly, 1 over 4 that is 25% of the line. So this position is 1 over 4, 1 part of 4. Third is 3 parts out of 4 parts that is 3 over 4. So Last is 4 over 4, that is 4th of the 4th part. All parts, that would be 1. Coming to the B part, 1 over 8th, that is 1st part of 8th. So, 1 over 8. We are done with it. Second is 2 over 8. Similarly, moving to next step. Here we have 2 parts out of 8. Third is 3 over 8, being in same terms, this is 3 over 8, and 7, moving up till 7, that is second last, 7 over 8. Now see, we have a line of 5 units length. We have divided it into 8 equal parts because we have one improper fraction, that is 8 by 5. So we have a 5 unit length of this line and we have divided it into equal 8 parts to do that improper fraction so first is proper fraction 2 over 5 that is 2 part of this whole length that is 5 units we are done with it 3 over 5 3 parts out of this total length of 5 units and 8 over 5 that is 8th part of this 5 unit length and the last one being fourth part of five unit length. This is the fourth part. So we are done with question number one. This is our answer. Second is express the following as mixed fractions. We have to divide in order to find mixed fractions. Mixed fractions are whole and along with fraction part. So 3, 6 are 18, to remainder, writing it as 6 and 2 over 3. Similarly, we are going to do it with all other parts. Divide 11 by 5, 5 to the 10, 1 comes remainder. Therefore, we write it as quotient comes to whole part and remainder. 1 and divisor 5. 17 by 7. 7 to the 14. 3 would be the remainder. We are writing in the same manner as we have written 2 before. That is 2 and 3 over 7. We are done with it. Then comes 28 by 5. By 5 is the 25. And we have 3 remainder. Therefore, 5 and 3 over 5. Second last, 19 over 6. 6 3 is 18. 1 would be the remainder. And we'll have 3 and 1 over 6. That is 3 whole and 1 over 6 as a fraction. 39, sorry, 35 over 9. 9 3 is 27. And 8 would be the remainder. So we have 3 total parts and the fraction part. That we have to add to the whole part to make 35 over 9 is 3 over 8, 9. So we are done with this question. Question 3. Express the following as improper fractions. Improper is where numerator is bigger than denominator. 31. So we write it as 31 over 4. We are just 
doing it reverse wise as we did in order to find proper fractions. 5 into 7 plus 6, 35 plus 6 gives you how much? 41. So we write 41 over 7. And we are done with it. Then we write 2 into 6 plus 5. 12 plus 5 gives you 17. So, 10 into 5 plus 3, 50 plus 3, 53. So, 53 over 5. 9 sevens are plus 3. 63 plus 3 would give you 66. 66 over 7 is your answer. Last, 8 nines is 72, plus 4 would give you, how much? 72 plus 4 gives you 76. So this is how you do it to make it improper fractions.